Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Hi. Hope they, that woke you up. Our next speaker, Sam Moranto, is the state director for MUFON Illinois. Early this year, the ufological community, if that's even a word, was rocked by a headline about a UFO sighting over Chicago, the O'Hare Airport. What made this so interesting was the amount of traffic that this one particular story attracted from the internet. I believe that the stats were well over a million hits, and in the history of chicagotribune.com, no story had ever pulled that traffic. So if anybody tells you there's no interest in UFOs, I think that's proof enough. Sam Moranto is, is an investigative researcher who goes out into the field, researches not only the O'Hare sighting, but many sightings even outside of Illinois. So let me welcome to the stage Mr. Sam Moranto, and for the first time I've ever said, Maestro, hit it, and MUFON, Maestro, hit it. Snappy little ditty, isn't that? Well, I figure if uh, Michael Shermer could bring his toys to the Larry King show, I could bring a little music to MUFON Symposium. That's some serious lights. Wow. Uh, what I'm be talking about today is the O'Hare incident. I'm going to cover a little bit of that, and then I'm going to be covering a little about an incident in my backyard, which is the uh, area known as Tinley Park, and we had a series of sightings out there, mass sightings, back in 2004. I'm also going to jump into the correlation with other sightings in and about those times in other states. Also going to show you some footage that I think is some of the most remarkable footage from each of these events. What I'd like to do is first give you a little bit of information about the O'Hare incident. First of all, anybody here never hear of the O'Hare incident? Anybody? Never heard about it. You've been in Papua New Guinea recently. <laughs> okay, because this went viral. I mean, within a short period of time after this story broke January 1st by John Hilkovich in the Chicago Tribune, that story went on the wires before he was able to pop the cork on his champagne that New Year's Eve, or New Year's, yeah, New Year's Eve. By the 2nd of January, it was literally all over the world. It was an international press. He was doing interviews, in fact, on the 1st uh, for, t uh, for stations down in Australia. Now, we're going to show you some footage from uh, actually YouTube and a few other things uh, from CLTV where the story actually was aired for the first time. He actually talked about it the Friday before the first and uh, the, in the interview is pretty interesting. We're also going to show you some footage of the interview on CNN of an actual uh, individual that was there at the ramp, one of these ramp rats, uh, or else, was it the ramp rat? One of them, or else the uh, pilot. Then we're going to see a little Fox piece that I was involved with and show you the quality difference in uh, some of these. So if we can run the first video DVD, and hopefully we can. Oh, hey, who's done? Hey, John. Hey, Jim. How are you? Well, fine, thanks. How are you? He's preening. <laughs> Busy with this UFO stuff. Oh, stone. my God. So Did you see it hit the Fox crawl uh, Monday night? Did it? It's yes. just been everywhere. I mean, I've been on CNN. Uh, my, did my fourth appearance today. Really? Uh, every MSNBC, every network. Oh, my goodness. And just worldwide. I mean, yeah. know, Australia, everywhere. <laughs> That's what we're going to start off, I'm going to say. And John, the response has been, well, out of this world, hasn't it? <laughs> Congratulations. That's, so where's the latest on the investigation of the FAA? This is then? going on be well, actually, uh, is by this before time it's tomorrow, actually here. So yeah, you're you're United is now actual conversation. they were approached by employees. Mm -hmm. So they've done that yeah. flip-flop. And mm -hmm. I'm trying to locate photos of this. I'm told there may be oh, photos. Really? Wow. He sweats like a bear. That would be cool. <clears throat> uh, 
Um, I'm told that the uh, the story on on CT right has almost a million hits. Yeah, it's it's the most read story in the history of CT.com. You're kidding me? No, I got an email yesterday from uh, Bill Adi. For one yeah. million hits on their website. Yeah, and this was the entire history of the website of the first. Oh, incredible. So, so. Incredible. So is the possible does the possibility exist? You might get the pictures and get them in for tomorrow. Or? Actually, oh no, I don't. The actual no, no, craft. No, no, no. I mean, I, I, I'm told the pilots on that plane that was being pushed back. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, I said in the story that they opened the windscreen and stuck their head out. Now I'm being told that one of them had a digital camera and snapped some pictures. Wow. So United is not playing ball with me, and uh, FAA have expanded my FOIA to include the flight plan, which might include the pilots' names. And I'm trying to work with the union as well. Are they still going by weather phenomenon? Uh, FAA, you know, pretty much because of the federal holiday, I, yeah. uh, I haven't talked to them that much. But yeah, they're, they're, they haven't changed their story. Mm. And it's, I've just they heard, have, heard they from have. other people, you know, since then that, you know, that, that's, that explanation just doesn't wash. And they haven't gone out of their way to, to say anything otherwise so far? No, I mean, they say, you know, it was, it was November 7th, they're, they're moving on. They're just mm. doing their daily thing. Well, I tell you what, the, uh, all the people who saw it must be feeling a little validated right about now, huh? Oh, yeah, and I'm getting tons of emails from other people who, outside the airport as well as at O'Hare really? who also either sighted that same object or saw they the whole to go to the, the sky after, after that just that. to clear the rest wow. of those pores out. Okay, so what did it look like again to the folks who saw it? It was a saucer-like object yeah, it was hovering over, this over the United Terminal, right? Yeah, right over, directly over gate C-17. Mm -hmm. It was stationary in the sky, uh, dark gray metallic. Uh, you know, like I say, saucer shaped, mm -hmm. no lights, and it was there for some minutes. And then when it uh, disappeared, it just streaked through the clouds with such energy that it broke a, a big a blue hole in the overcast, and the hole mm -hmm. remained there for several minutes until the wind uh, drifted and pushed the clouds back together. We'll cover a little some information on that too. Yeah, the blue was wow. the sky, but but otherwise the the entire skyline was uh, was cloudy. Totally overcast, huh? Oh, I forgot that spot so, over. You know, it's nothing. An airplane just doesn't react like that. It does. Mm. It slices mm. through, and it doesn't disturb the atmosphere. Hmm. There you go. Hmm. <laughs> At this point, he's Do you looking have for any, his next. set up after Phoenix. this time? Yeah, I'm going back on. Uh, a uh, radio station, a couple of radio stations this afternoon, and then uh, Headline News uh, has a show I'm doing at 3 o'clock. Okay. Ooh, I'll have to watch if I'm... Yeah, we'll have to set yeah. by them. Um, okay, Australia, what, are, what other international? Oh, my God. I mean, I mean, all over Europe. Oh, my gosh. Um, you know, hearing from people Even in Ireland, getting... they say, you know, we, we heard about what's happening at O'Hara. Butch O'Hara. I mean, just as well wow. as serious, you know, uh, researchers at major U.S. universities who have attempted to do their own investigations, and when they go to the government to try to get information, uh, they get stonewalled. So there really is this universal feeling that the government knows a lot more than it's willing to tell. Oh, man. Okay. What I find interesting is, would they say that otherwise if it wasn't so candidly, you know, okay. done here? I don't know. Um, I'm just going to say, you know, <laughs> what I found interesting is John Hilkovich. I am so, this, I think see how so he presents cool, this right here. This I was is the first one to get to talk alive. to you about it. <laughs> That's <laughs> right, last Friday. <laughs> okay. The UFO hair story, the Chicago Tribune exclusively broke on New Year's Day, is garnering attention around the world. Joining us now to talk about it once again is Tribune transportation writer John Hilkovich, who wrote the story. And John, the response has been well out of this world, hasn't it? Yes, it has been astronomical, Jim. Uh, every major country, it seems, people have written in, uh, both those who claim they've uh, spotted UFOs during their life as well as serious researchers. I mean, just the last two days, this oh. is my email. And these are the serious emails, uh, you know, the ones from kooks who said they were brought aboard alien spacecraft I put in the circular file. So it's wow. just a story that has legs, and people are fascinated by the thought, and I think there's some belief that there are advanced life forms that are visiting us here on a regular basis.